What's up? What's going on, Pisces? Let's see. What do we have? What messages do Pisces need to know right now? God, messages for Pisces at this time. The first card that had flew out very quickly was love where you are. All right. It says appreciate current circumstances. Ask yourself why you want what you want. Wow. I say that all the time, y'all. Um, and see the beauty in it all. own your path look at that two hearts so the universe is definitely trying to send you love pisces okay the first two cards we got you know this heart shape being cut out and then we have a paper plane that is making a heart shape okay and this is saying your own path it says trailblazing brings the greatest achievements heart and mind aligned unconventionality and authenticity all right so you're definitely in a powerful energy pisces this is truly where you're meant to be um i hope my dryer is not too loud in the background right now y'all <laughs> but this love here it's like if you guys have been feeling a lack of love the universe god is trying to let you know you are loved you have love within you um self-love is definitely a focal point right now for pisces all right and know that you're exactly where you're supposed to be you need to love every moment of where you are right now all right we have in flow state this card comes out often for pisces it says you're in the zone loving life focused high frequency skills meets challenge flotation therapy and then we have the yin and the yang all right loving all of you that's what i'm talking about this message i'm just getting so much self-love it's all about the love that's inside of you pisces that a lot of y'all may not be recognizing all right it says love and accept your inner darkness for greatest self-love deep healing world mirrors us all right so that's letting us know that everything starts within us pisces whatever you're looking for you need to feel that within yourself so that those things can start to be reflected in your outer world all right yin and the yang it's all about that balance that balance of good and evil darkness and light all right nobody's perfect including yourself all right so recognize you know the good and the bad in every situation and know that every situation does have good in it and it does have bad in it all right then we have the magic of pretending 13 seconds here all right so that could be significant the number 13 for somebody it says visualize ideal situations be detailed play the part see as manifested speak it into existence be certain i've been meaning to get on my manifestation series you guys i started it and i need to just continue with these videos because manifesting is so important at this time you know i already talked about how we're entering a new decade 2021 is a new decade so it's a clean slate it's a chance for you to write that story that you've always wanted to write for yourself all right you're going to be the star of your own movie all right um the magic of pretending visualize what it is you want visualize where you see yourself being at the end of this year coming up feel the feelings that you would feel and going back to your own path it's like or was it this one yeah love where you are it's like why do you want what you want all right once you figure out your why it's going to be that much easier to get that manifestation popping to really get those dreams to start becoming a reality 
All right, and the last card here, we have ultimate love, another love card, okay? So this says, forgive others and yourself, release the past, send love and light, change inner to change the outer. Man, there's so many cards in here talking about you having the power, Pisces, you having the control, Okay, there's somebody here that may be wanting your forgiveness or you have to forgive yourself in some sort of situation. Okay, it's time to forgive others and to forgive yourself. It's time to release the past. All right, look at all these cards of love. And it's about you controlling that love. And if you really, really, um, you know, like I said, it starts within you. I'm, start I'm starting to sound like an ABC kids special here it's so cliche but it's so true man like if you really feel that love within you it will show up and show out in your life and you'll just have so much more things to be grateful for you'll start to feel love in so many more areas all right so i wanted to spend some time with those um oracle cards just to see where we are energetically y'all i'm gonna clarify <clears throat> with the accurate AF tarot. So let's see, what's this energy here for Pisces? Love where you are, current circumstances. So let's clarify this love where you are card. We have the eight of cups, new direction, walking away. All right, so that's where a lot of you guys are right now. Love where you are. You know, it's a new direction here. Somebody could have walked away from you with this eight of cups or you could have walked away from somebody else okay could be a cancer pisces scorpio here um but you're starting in a new direction all right this is a new chance and some of you guys may not have been able to see the positive in this new direction that's why um you know this card came out love where you are you know what i'm saying the eight of cups yeah this could be an unexpected unexpected change maybe things didn't turn out the way you expected them to but you guys really need to see the blessing and where it is that you are and this new opportunity that is being laid out in front of you all right so your own path you guys are creating some sort of new path for yourself trailblazing what is this about for pisces all right so we have the three of cups, compassion, happiness, more water energy. All right. So you're all in this reading, Pisces. Um, that means your emotional state. You're feeling things very deeply at this time. You're feeling very connected to your emotions. You know exactly how you feel. You may not understand why you feel what you feel, but you know how you feel. Okay. It's going to be a time right now um, where there's a lot of celebration. There could be a lot of friends. Um that are coming into your life or you finding friendship in unexpected people okay um i do think there's also a, a sense of like someone wanting to reconcile okay somebody finds happiness with you or you know i feel like you are exuding some sort of positivity that people find very very attractive you know, magnetic type of energy. People are attracted to that. And, you know, coming into this new year, people are deciding that they want to be on. I think people aren't being as negative and like pessimistic. Like more people are hopping on the spirituality wave. You know, more people are trying to just be uplifted. They want to be around positive energy. And I think Pisces, you are just a natural, you know, magnet. You draw like a moth to a flame. You exude positive energy when you're, when you're at your best. Okay. So you may be being restored, um, pretty soon. There could be a lot of drinking. All right. There could be a lot of celebrating like champagne, toast and stuff like that. I know it is the holidays time. Okay. But you could be unexpectedly a bit more, um, cheerful right now with this three of cups. All right. This new direction. I think you're finally coming to some sort of acceptance and yeah, I think you're going to be feeling, feeling it. Um, in this flow state here, 
definitely get into like love and life. What does Pisces need to know about this? Okay. We have the tower in the reverse. Okay. So it's so funny. This is like the only card that just like flipped this way. Um, and it's good. This is, you avoided some type of disaster, Pisces, whether you know it or not. Okay. By letting things happen naturally with this inflow state, you literally avoided some sort of disaster. Okay. This situation wasn't going to get any better. So whatever ended, whatever new direction you had to inevitably walk into, whether you wanted to or not, it was meant to be, man. You really don't even know how much the universe saves your ass. Seriously. Things were going to get way worse before they got any better. All right. There was some major conflict that you avoided. We got the world here in the reverse. Is this the world? Yeah, it's the world in the reverse. Um, so somebody is feeling, you know, with this loving all of you and the yin and yang, this is what I was pulling this tarot card for, just to clarify this one. I feel like when I saw the yin and yang, I was thinking of like two, two halves of a whole, you know what I'm saying? So I definitely got a feeling of like two separate energies, maybe like an opposite type of energy. This could be a friend. It could be, you know, a partner. It could be your family member, but there's somebody here that is like your opposite energy. Okay. And you could be at a disconnect with this person. There could be some unfinished business with this person and you guys could be at odds right now. All right. And you could be loving yourself very much, you know, trying to get that self love, just focusing on yourself. This person could be doing the same, like mirroring you. All right. But with this world energy here, it's like both of you guys see each other, um, in some way, shape or form on some sort of platform could be the World Wide web. Okay. Instagram, Facebook, Facebook, Snapchat, whatever the case is, okay, there's some sort of um, acknowledgement of each other's energy, all right, but it's like this is an unclosed chapter, this is something that hasn't ended, somebody just feels like there's some unfinished business here. All right, we have the Six of Swords, so yeah, this is definitely somebody who has moved on or they thought they moved on or maybe you thought you moved on all right but there's something here about a resolution that has to happen okay because the six of swords came upright with the world in the reverse it's just like there's a there's an unfinished chapter here this could be with the air sign gemini libra aquarius okay but somebody who transitioned on to a better situation that they're feeling like this is something incomplete um between the two of you pisces you could be feeling like that too. There's just, it's like as much as you try to focus on celebrating and, you know, friendships, this could be someone who friend zoned at you as well. But it's like as much as you try to just focus on the positive, it's like there's one inkling little thing that's like nagging you. And it's like something that was like unfinished. It could have to do with this tower energy here. Definitely probably has to do with the eight of cups. Okay. So whoever walked away from you, um, yeah. It's really leaving you kind of stuck, I feel, with this world card in the reverse. It's just something like you feel like something's just unfinished. All right. This magic of pretending, big manifestation energy. What is Pisces manifesting? What does Pisces need to be manifesting at this time? What is Pisces um, manifesting? What's going on with Pisces? I uh, hate to take these, but actually, yeah, I'm going to put those back in. Let's, okay, perfect. So we have the two of wands. So some big decisions ahead, Pisces. All right, this card says achievement. All right, so your manifestations are going to come to pass. All right, these things are really going to come to fruition for you. Um, independence. All right, you guys are making some important decisions, two of wands. It could have to do with travel, could have to do with the relocation. All right, could be moving homes, um, switching career paths. All right, it's something unexpected, I feel, because with the tower energy here, it's like you avoided something for sure, but everything is so up in the air with Pisces energy right now. You definitely are in flow state. And when you're in flow state, anyone knows 
things can change in an instant. All right. So the two of wands here, you could come to some um, type of choice that is very unexpected, very spontaneous, last minute. Um, it's like you were planning for something, but I think things are going to go like a bit differently than how you planned it. But ultimately, it's going to work out for you. All right. Some of you guys are into acting. Can't get over this little image right here. So some of you guys could be actors or thinking of like um, being like influencers or something like that. All right. Some sort of creative type of endeavor. All right. And then we have the ultimate love here. Let's clarify this for Pisces. What's this ultimate love? What does Pisces need to know in regards to what's going on over there? I don't know why I decided to read like this, y'all. I usually don't. <clears throat> I usually don't do it like this, but switched it up on y'all. So this is beautiful. Like, can you ask for anything more? Oh my gosh, this is crazy. So the ultimate love to wrap up this reading, we have the Ace of Cups and the Two of Cups. I mean, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I'm so happy y'all this is beautiful because this is just saying like this mirror you know it, this forgiveness that you may have been struggling with Pisces you loving yourself forgiving yourself releasing your past all right sending love and light to whoever was in your past this is the interchange that spirit has been wanting from you and this ace of cups this renewal within yourself this self-love y'all are truly learning the true definition of self-love on some real shit and once you get there it unlocks this two of cups this two of cups this reciprocity all right this true companionship this true respect this balance this harmony all right, this is something that you guys have been yearning for, dreaming about, and it never worked out. You probably released it. You probably gave up on it. All right, you had to go through some sort of transformation to really come to self-love, being able to know that self-love truly is the best love. And when you have that self-love, it's going to attract, it's going to attract better people in your life than you could have ever imagined. All right, because when a person respects themselves, you're going to get people in your life who are going to know not to play with you, Pisces, because they see how seriously you take yourself. You respect yourself. You love yourself. So the only people that are going to come into your life are going to be people that can match that energy. Mm, did y'all hear that? That was my dryer going off. Validation, confirmation, all of that. All right. Big water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, you, you guys are also in your element here with the water. So pay attention to your emotions. They're guiding you. They're, they're, they're showing you where to go. Your intuition is on point right now. All right. And I think there's going to be some sort of love, some sort of renewal, um, that you're not going to be expecting. All right. So you guys, I hope you guys have an amazing holiday. I don't know if I'm going to get another reading in before Christmas because I'm going to be traveling and stuff. So God bless all of you guys. Love you guys so, so much. And I will talk to you later. Bye.